Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Toy Division. <laughs> I got a bunch of figures for you here. You can see I have got the entire collection of these guys. Uh-huh. And yeah, you see what he makes. This is old school, of course, and uh, most of the stuff I got off of, actually the whole set, excuse me, the whole set I got off of Big Bad Toy Stores in the States, uh, all the way up here in Canada. No, the shipping was not expensive, and even the uh, duty was, you know, the, the customs was not so great. So, boom, I had no problems getting this here, and I'm in love with it. So I'm going to pop these puppies open, and we're going to take a look inside, and we're going to build Doomsday. Here we go. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got all the figures here. And let's start off over here with the Mutant Leader. This guy is awesome. He's got an amazing ab crunch. If you can still get your hands on these things, man, I 100% recommend them. Uh, he looks like he's actually ready to go at it with Batman. Obviously not in this version. That's reserved for Superman, but yeah. Freaking awesome character. Great articulation. I say that as I come across the knees, which don't really bend that much. And they, I know that he wasn't the most agile of foes, but the knees should definitely bend a lot more than that. So, yeah, huge, huge amount of disappointment there. And you could probably make them bend more by filing the uh, back part here, right there in that corner. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can make it go better than that. But, yeah, these spikes actually kind of hurt if you mess with them a little bit too much. There's five sets of them. Uh, the visor, the freaking spikes. This is, yeah, this is cool. Like, it just looks so good. Like, his facial expression and everything. I love it. Absolutely love it. He comes with a torch to light the way. And he comes with a crowbar to beat the crap out of his foes, Joker style. And he comes with the left hand fist of Doomsday. You know who comes with the right leg of Doomsday, and a cool slingshot. Unfortunately, that's the best it does. I feel like I can make a better slingshot, but whatever. You can also see that it goes into Casey's uh, arm. This is Robin. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of an up-down movement with her head, which is painfully frustrating, especially since she should probably be looking up to Batman once in a while, and that's simply not gonna happen, ever. Um, I do like her cape, though. Uh, these DC figures usually have these amazing... Oh, look at that. Look at the paint. Look at the paint. Just <laughs> That's just terrible. But they usually have great uh, articulation there. Um, single joints, unfortunately, but at least she's got better movement than... Um, and she should have, like, double-jointed everything. I mean, come on. She was the epitome of agility. Um... I guess because these figures are so old, and I guess that's just the sweat. Look at that. I actually have to clean that up. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> um, what do you call it? But yeah, I guess because it's been in the packaging for so long. Like, this is, this is several years old, and this is in the packaging the whole entire time. Wow. Just wow. Uh, these things, like, I don't know why they even bothered to put the joints. You can see there's joints down there, but because of the shape of the boots... So, like, this is just purely silly on their parts. Ah, look, I actually got it to move. But that's it. Oh, anything else, I'm probably going to break the darn thing. Uh, still great. I really like this. Uh, I like... Does this actually go in? Please tell me this at least goes in. Because I would be so frustrated if it doesn't. And it really doesn't. Oh, if it goes in, it's not coming out. <laughs> How cute. Anyway, it's the only Casey figure that I've ever seen. Oh, man. Let's get right to the bat in the room, and that is Batman himself in his anti-Superman armor. It'd be nice if they had something... Ooh, it's nice and soft here. That's really weird. It's clearly just a, a bit of plastic over top of a regular body, but you're not going to get any real movement. Look, he doesn't even... Oh, there we go. He actually does have a waist swivel. Jeez, I was going to say... Which I can understand if he doesn't. He had no mobility in this thing. Um, one leg goes up higher than the other. So if you're going to do a kick, make sure he's doing a, a side kick with his left. Left side. Um, yeah, not a lot of anything here. Um, I'm very... You know what the most disappointing part of all of this is? Is that they made the Flash. They made Wonder Woman. They made the, you know, the little Atom and stuff like that. Why exactly did they not make the Green Arrow? 
Seriously, can somebody please explain that to me? Probably the most important character outside of Batman and Superman and this version of Batman was freaking Green Arrow. Why did they not make the freaking Green Arrow? That doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, boom, there you go. And he comes with the butt. <laughs> he comes with Doomsday's butt and his head. So that kind of makes him the butt head. <laughs> and of course, he comes with his grappling hook also. Not Doomsday's, but Batman's, which he can use to just, you know, boom, 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 shoot up Superman or to whatever, whatever he feels like doing. Kara over here, uh, she, Supergirl, this is the TV series version of Supergirl. Kind of weird. I guess this is supposed to be leggings over here. This is kind of weird. Anyway, the dress doesn't allow her to do a whole lot, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is. I don't see why they couldn't have got... Whoa. Baby got back. Anyway, um, does the... Actual, I, I've only watched the first season. I honestly don't know if she does or not. But here she does. Um, I kind of like the smirk. I like that on her face. That's really cool. Dig that. Um, yeah, this is a fun character. Um, I'm sure I'll use her once in a while for a prop. I don't know what else I'll actually use her for. And she comes with the left leg. The left leg of Doomsday. Coming with the right arm fist of Doomsday is uh, Superman Doomed. Everybody remembers the Ken Lashley art for Superman Doomed. I don't know if I'll ever actually use the this Superman doomed character. I was thinking about using him as Bizarro, you know, and then just like faking it. <laughs> but I actually just recently got in the mail my uh, New 52 version of Bizarro, which is awesome. Um, yeah, he's just like, you know, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. He's got the, the zombie looking arms, gangly and still big. He's got the doomsday beard. <laughs> I dig on this. This is actually a really beautiful character. I love the cape. Everything about this. This is a beautiful character, man. Make absolutely no mistake. As much as I'm going to make fun of this, um, I dug this. Just wish it had bigger impact and, than just beating up on Bizarro. And then over here, we've got Lex Luthor. This is, unfortunately, the Jesse Eisenberg Lex Luthor, which is annoying. But at least he comes with chains to lock his butt up. Uh, this does go all the way around him. Oh, look at that. It actually says Bell Rev Penitentiary on the back. That's actually pretty cool. I dig that. Um, I don't know if this will actually come off these chains, which is painfully frustrating. Oh, look, they actually won't. No, they will. Oh, okay. Hey, that, okay. That's actually kind of cool, DC. Well, you know, uh, what do you call it? Who made, uh, Mattel. Thank you. Had to look at the box really quick. Okay, so these will actually come out, and therefore you can put these on any character. You might have a problem putting them, because not everybody's going to have those two little holes in the back, but you get the gist, right? Uh, you just hold it up somehow, rubber band it, whatever you need to do. But you can actually put these cuffs on somebody. That's cool. And it comes with the torso of Doomsday. So... The DC Collect and Connects were always kind of soft. They was always S-A-F-T. S-O-F-T, how did they always spell that? Anyway, they're a little soft. S-A-W-F-T, I think that's how they did it. Oh, back in WWE NXT. Whoa, that wasn't so hot. Let's try that again. And you've got a bend there, there we go. Oh yeah, look. They can do, he's evolved to be able to do the splits. Let's put the arms on. This is the first Doomsday figure I've ever owned. And I cannot tell you how excited I, I was to get this. Literally, I was interested in mostly the uh, Dark Knight Returns stuff. But uh, the only reason why I actually got the other stuff, and I was kind of interested in the Luther. The only reason why I even got the other stuff is because I was going to be able to build Doomsday with the Collect and Connect. And that... Oh, no, not cool. Not cool. And look at that. It actually looks like it's on there. I don't even know if these sons of guns can uh, reimburse me if it breaks. Uh, well, I can't even get his arm in there. That's how 
Okay, wow. This is terrible. This is actually really bad. I'm going to try and put it on the floor. <clears throat> See if that helps. If I can make it go one way or the other, that's one thing. Okay, well, I'm going to do the best I can with this, unfortunately. Which isn't a whole lot. I can't even get the freaking head on. Oh, this is a horrible figure. This is genuinely the worst collecting connect I've ever gotten. No wonder these guys went out of business. Oh my god, finally. Look at what the, the arm alone did to me. Like, dude, I'm a, I'm a pretty sturdy stock. <laughs> it just took the life out of me. So there's my doomsday. Because I can't actually get the right arm to work. Let me put them up close here to these guys. So you can see towers over everybody, including Superman Doomed. It's huge. But uh, I can't actually get the arm to bend at this joint. It's not actually a joint. It's fused on there. So I'm going to try and hammer that out, whatever it is. Um... Yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to try and see if I can contact uh, Mattel. Otherwise, i got to pay five or ten bucks to see if somebody's got the arm for me. You know, that actually works because this stinks, man. This stinks. I bought the whole set. Whole set. And this is what I get for it. I'm very disappointed. I can't even bend it too much because like, can this thing at least come out? No, it'll break. Because I need, I'm afraid that if I bend too hard, I'm actually going to break the, the arm off at the upper bicep joint, which I don't want this thing to break. Anyway, so I'm going to see what I can do. <laughs> you can tell I'm massively disappointed right now. Massively disappointed, but I finally got a doomsday. Yay. Oh, I can't wait to make him fight one of my mini hulks. All right, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Toy Department. Class dismissed.